Welcome everyone, Looney Farm Guy here and we're looking at auger wagons today. What do they do, what do they hold, and how do they work, and how do they differ from Farming Simulator 19. Stick around and find out. Auger wagons. What are they? What do they do? Well, Farm Sim 22, uh, you start off with quite a variety of auger wagons. Uh, to short definition, they're referred to as chaser bins, auger wagons, typically taken out off, uh, taken out onto the field to empty the harvesters, and then uh taken over to a waiting truck and emptied into uh, a trailer or something to be taken off to the silo or off to a grain elevator now uh, let's take a look at this one uh, this is the first one base uh basic gtw 330 bergman uh, let's take a look at it in the store uh, you will find these under auger wagons, and like as I said, here it is. Uh, it holds, uh, tw well, see the weight, 25, it weighs 25 tons. Now here it says 33 meters squared, cubed. Um, however, uh, yeah, see that's a bit odd, some of them, yeah. So how many liters is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. Uh, if we jump into here, uh, we will find that out. Um, yeah, that's a little different. But anyways, back into the auger wagons. See, we have a, quite a variety of auger wagons. Uh, they will hold your standard crops, plus seed and f dry fertilizer, not liquid. Uh, the um, obvious omission is lime, which uh, it's quite upsetting to me. <laughs> <laughs> as usual and then after the uh, giant ones which we'll look at in a minute uh, we have uh, the uh, we could call them silage so they hold a uh, chaff sh uh, uh, sugar cane uh, silage uh, straw and hay I think uh, the, the uh, anyways not your standard crop oh dear and then we have one that holds only potatoes and we have the last two are beets only so be aware of that if you don't know why it's not going in uh, it is because it's potatoes or beet only um, so those are over here um, and, uh, and of course, unless you're doing potatoes or beets, um, these two here, or actually this one, this is the potato, and the two over here is the beet ones. Um, yeah, and unless you're doing that, uh, you're not going to need those at all. We do have one for the back of a semi-trailer. We have a semi-truck. <laughs> here for that purpose. Now it's uh, as far as operation um, we'll turn the help window on here. Uh, open cover left on the D-pad uh, pipe out uh, L1 and down pipe out this one oh. Okay, no collisions on that. Uh, pipe out the back. <laughs> and uh, pipe back in. Uh, pipe out. Three, pipe out four, pipe out five, six. Um, okay, that's a little bit unexpected. I'm not sure what all those pipe out options are. Uh, not as straightforward as I thought. Anyways, I have a seed um, oh, crash counter plus one. 
uh, seed silo here. Uh, we will fill up some seeds. Oh, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we learn something every day now, don't we? Uh, this is interesting. Uh, this is a six hopper conveyor. Uh huh. Uh, that would explain the six options for filling seeds. Uh, do I have enough to feed seeds to fill all of these? Uh, seems not. Let's go put some more seeds in here. Might be a little tricky to figure out which one it's filling and which Mm. Start filling. Yeah, oh, that's filling the back one. That looks. Mm. Well, you know what? This is uh, this is a bit of an unexpected. Uh, because uh, this. Uh, again hmm see I can go in there since it's, it's, it's 12,000 liters still in there I really like that feature you can look at something in a silo or something and it'll tell you oh start filling it's a little tricky from a silo to see which one is it says I'm full but that's There's an empty one. Hmm. Okay. Um, right on. Anyways. <laughs> pipe out. And there's no... Yeah, no collision on that pipe. Which is probably a good thing. Okay, let's uh, pull forward here. Yes, forward. Thank you. And it should be emptying. There we go. So you don't need to trigger it or anything. It will empty on its own. Now. Uh, there we go. Stopped. Uh, pipe two pipe three there we go now if we shut off the truck it will stop so that's the difference between um, farming simulator 19 and farming simulator 22 uh, the vehicle attached to the auger wagon needs to be running to power the auger wagon. That was not the case in Farm Sim 19. Uh, seeds. Oh, it even tells you what's in each one of them. And I believe our silo is full. That's why we're not dispensing anymore. Uh, we will hop over to the other one. This one's a little weird one. This is quite, this almost needs a whole um, video all by itself to explain this one. That's, you can have, uh, yeah, that, that definitely can come in, <laughs> can come in handy. All right, here we go. Um, this is the much more traditional, what you would call a traditional auger wagon. 
you open the cover, you come up to your silo or whatever, fill up with your product. And then when it comes to unloading, it's uh, you just have to have the pipe out. And uh, of course there's adjustments and uh, yeah, once, once it hits that trigger area, it will automatically start to come out, but you shut the tractor off, it will stop. So you must have uh, power to the auger wagon for it to operate. Uh, even with the pipe out and pipe in, I turn that off, turn the tractor off, pipe out, pipe in does not work. You have to have the vehicle running to power the equipment just like the harvesters you cannot pipe out or unload anymore unless it is running now for the most part i haven't tested these these are kind of the first time i have got them into a game and uh started hauling them around this one is massive 200 it's listed as Although it's, it pulls around a lot easier than I thought it would. Um, whoop, it is definitely a long, a long one. Um, and here we are. <laughs> it will hardly even put a dent into the, I believe it was listed. It's going to tell me some kind of a, yeah. I'm going to say 211,000 liters. Obviously we don't have that in here. Um, but again, uh, pipe out. It seems to be pretty maneuverable though. I mean, this is a small, medium sized tractor. It's going to be a little bit tough turning, but all the wheels turn. Come on. Come on, big guy. <laughs> Alright. Let's get her over here and see her unload. And that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for auger wagons. Um, for base game. There we go. Notice the RPM kicks up on the tractor too when it starts unloading. That's kind of neat. So. And when it's empty. So some of them will have adjustments. That's the uh, tip adjustment. There is no adjustment on the arm itself. Uh, you can close the cover, open it, pipe in. And there we go. Um, and uh, that's basically it for base game auger wagons. Um, like I say, the beaten potato ones are pretty standard. Um, if there's going to be anything else I find, I'm going to insert it after this. But uh, that is it for auger wagons. Um, a good choice a good color some of them have color choices like this one a lot of different color choices some of them are pretty much basically standard i'm not going to go through all the options they're pretty basic uh so i hope you uh i hope this um answered a few questions for auger wagons oh not gonna let me go up there <laughs> so uh have a little fun with them i mean this thing's a beast you're gonna that's going to be fun. A mother bin. Australian, obviously. Yeah, stars and stripes with uh, Australian. All right, anyways, I'm rambling. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I love auger wagons. I like to use them all the time. Uh, maybe you should try them out once or twice or a little bit. You might seem to like them. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's just a game, so have fun. Till next time, bye for now.